Introduction One of the biggest problems with many of the developments in farming over the years has been the tendency to generalize and make recommendations for farmers across large and highly heterogeneous areas. This has been true for all manners of input recommendations including fertilizers, pesticides, and crop varieties. As we all know, pests are one of the major concerns in farming. Pest, pest species are cause for major concern not only due to potential loss of revenue due to crop damage, but if left untreated, they can also cause significant damage to machinery, equipment, and property as well. The study of automated aerial pesticide sprayer for rice field is an advanced approach to spray pesticides that allows bringing patterns to match the contours of the field. It utilizes a technology that can spray only for the amount the plant needs. Consequentially, this system helps farmers save water, money, and convenience and time, and ultimately benefits the environment by reducing countless gallons of pesticide wasted every year in the farmer's space to pick. Hi, my name is Mansur. I'm one of the researchers of this research proposal, in, um, which is entitled Automated Aerial Pesticide Sprayer for Rice Fields in Tenhai City, an advanced way of controlling pests. See you on the next slides. Hey, this is Christopher, one of the researchers of this study. On our study entitled Automated Aerial Pesticide Sprayer for Rice Fields in Tenhai City, an advanced way of controlling pests. Statement of the problem. Pesticides comes in a form of substance that used to kill or control certain forms of animal life considered pest. Farmers, as a result, we use pesticide to save and produce huge number of crops, especially rice. But they are doing it in a traditional way or the old way, like going near the crops and spray, which might harm them since they are near the chemicals. Spraying crops in an advanced way by using automated aerial pesticide sprayer would help the farmers save three times an effort and can control the uses of pesticides which is also beneficial with the plants and thereby producing high quality crop. Particularly, the study aims to answer the following questions. First, do the rice field farmers have the right technological skills to utilize this technology? Are they able to interpret the data they have gathered? Second is the use of automated aerial pesticide sprayer can be beneficial to farming, will it be worthy of investment in the future. Third, can the use of automated aerial pesticide sprayer improve the agri agricultural practices in the city of Tanai? Fourth, how how has the use of automated aerial pesticide sprayer adapt to a certain climate? Lastly, can this automated aerial pesticide sprayer can spray the insects that may have hidden in the rice fields. Significance of the study The result of this study will be the beneficial to agricult agricultural sector in the nice city, specifically in the rice fields. This study is significant because it can greatly help their rice production in the nice city where they only use the traditional system in breeding of pests that is inefficient and can affect the health of the farmers. So specifically, the study is significant in breeding of pests in the rice field in the nice city because of the following reasons. Has a geographical overview of the rice field, can calculate the area of how much pesticide it can be used. Next, automated aerial pesticide pesticides has precise sprinkler technology that can accurately spray every rice plants that the, that the pest may have hidden. Next, the aerial pesticide is automated which means it is unmanned in maneuvering the drone. It is programmed to determine the scale of the rice field that only need at least one person to operate. And lastly, using automated aerial pesticides in reading of pests which is far more time efficient, cost effective, and it can't affect the health of the farmers. So, scope and limitation of the study. Most of the farmers in Tanai City are working in a rice field which is use the traditional spraying of pesticides. These farmers take large amount 
of time to spray their, the crops and do, do not un uniformly spray the pesticides. But by using the agri agricultural pesticide sprayer, our product, these farmers can complete the spraying work in less than amount of time as compared to its traditional way with a uniform amount of spray to the plants. Definition of terms In order to have a common understanding towards in this particular research, the following terms are defined as follows. Agriculture The science or practice of farming, including cultivation of the soil for growing of crops, B at Mega 328. In this case, the system will use PLDC motors, which are multi phased, normally three phases, so direct supply of DC power will not turn on the motor on. B at Mega 644PA is a powerful 8 bit microcontroller that offers excellent flexibility and cost effective solution to wide range of embedded control applications. The ASC controller. The electronic speed controller is an electronic circuit which is used to control speed of servo motor, its directions, and possibly also to act as a dynamic brake. The GPS or the global positioning system, where the ultimate, where the automatically controlled device was based on aerial pesticide sprayer, mainly consisting of two parts: the quadcopter and the spraying mechanism. The GPS is on is used in only autonomous mode. The microcontroller is the use of the heart of the system. It makes up the setup low cost and effective. Nevertheless, a typical microcontroller includes processor, memory, and and, and peripherals on a single chip. Theoretical framework of the study. The earliest unmanned aerial vehicle in history was first reported in 1839, an Austrian soldier attacked the city of Venice with unmanned balloons that was filled with explosives. It is important to point out that the use of these vehicles in earliest form was for military purposes like Pangera. So the aerial technology greatly improved during the World War II and even the Cold War, it is alleged it is used for surveillance purposes, in particular taking aerial photographs of military bases by the use of former USSR intelligence. So the first non-military aerial vehicles were deployed or began to be used on earnest in 2006 by the government agencies that were responsible for disaster, relief, border surveillance, and wildfire fighting for surveillance purposes. Also, a corporation began to use Jones to inspect pipelines and spray pesticides in the farm. Hey, so now let's talk about the conceptual framework of this study. To start with, um, the researchers have described a design of a drone mounted spraying mechanism for agricultural purpose and for spraying disinfectants. This method of spraying pesticides on agricultural fields reduces the numbers or the number of labors, time, costs, and the risk involved to the personnel involved in spraying the liquids. This system can also be used in spraying disinfectant liquids over buildings, water bodies, and highly populated areas if possible. Well, um, the major result for having this kind of system will help the farmers from Tinhai City to have an efficient way of spraying pesticides, um, of course, to the rice field. Um, this system can be particularly useful in spot spraying situations over a massive landscape. Um, with the use of automatic aerial pesticide sprayers, the poisoning of people who spray will be drastically reduced. However, um, the initial costs of this are high with a short flying time and uncertainty of the success of the operations across several habitat types and weather conditions. And also, we have a study according to 
Rahul Desali and Company, the automated aerial pesticide sprayer is the efficient and um, robust for the described application of spraying. It can fly as much time as calculated and as per the specifications of the components. This drone is not only for the spraying, but also can be used for monitoring the fields by attaching the cameras. Um, this design is optimized as per the cost and weight. Now, um, we're done with uh, conceptual, I mean, conceptual framework of this study. So let's talk about um, the next one. We have the related literature. And um, agricultural, I mean, agricultural drone is common to other country, but this type of aerial sprayer is automated. Um, it is designed specifically in Tinhai, where the, the geography and the climate is a challenge. There are dozens of literature and studies that can be used in relation to the study of aerial automated, um, automated sprayer. So, um, first one, I mean, let's begin with the rise of the drones in agriculture by Frank Veros Trade. So, according to the study of Veros Trade, uh, the rise, which is the rise of the drones in agriculture, the use of drones to provide better planting and crop rotation strategies and to provide a higher degree of all around monitoring of low or I mean how crops are progressing on a day to day basis in different parts of a given crop field. Um, also, drones from the present generation allow for coverage of a more surface area in a much shorter time stretch as well as the capturing of data that cannot be seen by the human eye. Um, next one of the review and related literature is the IJCMAS or the International Journal of Current Microbiology and Applied Sciences. Well, in their article, the use of advanced technologies such as drone in agriculture offer potential for facing several major or minor challenges. The major applications of drone in agriculture are irrigation, crop monitoring, soil and field analysis and bird control. Anthony King of 2007, a political scientist, said that the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations estimates that 20 to 40 percent of global crop yields around, I mean, are lost each year to pests and diseases, despite the application of around 2 million tons of pesticide. Well, modern technology that can be or that can autonomously eliminate pests and target agrochemicals better will reduce collateral damage to wildlife, I mean wildlife, lower resistance and cut costs. And finally, for our review and relate of related literature, another study from Rao Mogili um, in a review and application of drone systems of, I mean, drone systems from Mogili of 2018. There are too many developments in precision agriculture for increasing the crop productivity, um, especially in the developing countries like India. Over 70% of the um, rural people depends upon the agriculture field. So, uh, it also stated here that the World Health Organization estimated as 1 million cases of ill affected when spraying the pesticides in the crop field manually. So the unmanned aerial vehicle or drone aircrafts are used to spray pesticides to avoid the health problems of um, humans when they spray manually. These can be used easily where the equipment and labor is difficult to operate. Now, let's talk about the research methodologies. The microcontroller performs the um, needed actions by employing relays until the straight out parameter has been brought back 
to its optimum level. Since a microcontroller is used as the heart of the system, it makes the setup low cost and effective. So that's how the uh, microcontroller works for this system. Then um, starting the methods with the first figure, um, which is the flowchart of the research design. Um, firstly, as you can see here, the design will make use of the different resources to plan, model, and um, visualize the automated aerial pesticide sprayer. Then followed by measuring the individual components that will be used for this system. And um, followed by properly designing the system using the different components. Now, if the design will work, then... Uh, we have a question here. Can it be or can it work to the rice field in Tenhai City? Well, if the answer is yes, then it is successful and can be assembled. But if no, um, we had to check the design and I mean again to see if what are the errors until the design can be perfectly employed to the specific location. And um, now, let's proceed with figure 2. So, figure 2 shows block diagram of automated aerial pesticide sprayer with GPS. So, the automated aerial pesticide sprayer comes with different components, as you can see in the figure. Um, the controller, which has the GPS, stability, altitude, and water speed control, then the spray mechanism, um, spray, spray control of spraying tank status and pump on and off. Let's now talk about the, the components of this system. So how is the Atmega 328 used? Now when we say BLDC, so why, uh, why we will use BLDC? Um, BLDC is an improved way or is an improved direct current motor developed by removing the brushes from a brush DC uh, motor to eliminate shortcomings such as brush wear and electrical noise. It has also features or it has uh, best features or B BLDC has best features such as maintenance free, compact, um, high motor efficiency, and high heat dissipation capability which is very effective to this system next we have to use at mega 644a why should we use that one the automated aerial pesticide sprayer was designed by making use of microcontroller micro at mega 644pa well um, another component used in this system is the lithium polymer battery so um lithium Polymer batteries are generally safer and more environmentally friendly than other batteries. Lithium polymer batteries have got, uh, have become the most common high-performance remote control battery and are used in RC cars, um, boats, helis, planes, and uh, multi-rotors, and more. And um, finally, the use of ESE controller to the system and when we say um, servo motor it is a rotary actuator or linear actuator that allows for precise control of angular or linear position velocity and acceleration ESE allows much smoother and more precise variation of motor speed in a far more efficient manner than the mechanical type with a resistive coil and moving arm once in common needs. Now, um, those are the different uh, components uh, that will be used or these, this is a design and the component that will be used for this system. Now, um, to sum it up, this automated aerial pesticide sprayer will save the time of spraying pesticides and also it will reduce the diseases caused by fertilizer to the uh, human body such as skin diseases 
as per the research of the World Health Organization, or the WHO. Hence, drone will minimize the efforts of farmers for agricultural for agriculture, I mean, agriculture purpose in Tenhai City. Um, yeah, so I believe we have tackled all the um, parts of this research. So, uh, I hope you enjoy our presentation and yeah, uh, see you and have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.